this day, Madam Chair, marks a very crucial moment. We are 25 days away from the end of the first commitment period of the Kyoto Protocol. But we don't really have 25 days. We have a few precious hours left. We are at a critical juncture. And the next few hours represent a crucial opportunity for us to ensure that we are on the right trajectory to address the climate crisis. The Kyoto Protocol is the linchpin of success here in Doha and the cornerstone of ambition, if not the whole multilateral regime. And failure is simply unacceptable. We have made ourselves believe that a successful, ambitious outcome in KP is within reach. And under your able guidance and with the hard work of your vice chair and your facilitators, this may be in sight. However, as we close this ad hoc working group, ambition perhaps continues to elude us. An important backdrop for my delegation is the profound impacts of climate change that we are already confronting. And as we sit here every single hour, even as we vacillate and procrastinate here, we are suffering. There is massive and widespread devastation back at home. Hundreds of thousands of people have been rendered homeless, and the ordeal is far from over. Madam Chair, we have never had a typhoon like Bopa, which has wreaked havoc in a part of the country that has never seen a storm like this in half a century. And heartbreaking tragedies like this is not unique to the Philippines, because the whole world, especially developing countries struggling to address poverty and achieve social and human development, confront these same realities. Finally, Madam Chair, I speak on behalf of 100 million Filipinos, a quarter of whom a quarter of a million of whom are eking out a living here in Qatar. And I'm making an urgent appeal, not as a negotiator, not as a leader of my delegation, but as a Filipino. I appeal to the whole world. I appeal to the leaders from all over the world to open our eyes to the stark reality that we face. I appeal to ministers. The outcome of our work is not about what our political masters want. It is about what is demanded of us by 7 billion people. I appeal to all, please, no more delays, no more excuses. Please, let Doha be remembered as the place where we found the political will to turn things around. And let 2012 be remembered as the year the world found the courage to do so, to find the courage to take responsibility for the future we want. I ask of all of us here, if not us, then who? If not now, then when? If not here, then where? Thank you, Madam Chair.